guys, welcome along. Um, thanks for everyone for liking and subscribing the last videos. Glad you're enjoying what you're seeing. Um, here today we have Harriet again. We're going to go and uh, start cleaning her today. We're going to start removing that varnish. Did a couple of tests. I'm still rubbish at that. I've got a couple of tests here of uh, seeing what will actually remove the discoloured varnish. So they've happened there. And uh, yeah, I'll show a little bit more in detail of those at the moment. But yeah, we're going to start cleaning. So uh, welcome along and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy what you see. So uh, yeah, let's get going. Thanks guys. These are my uh, test windows. So there's like a fairly weak solution, a little bit stronger. And then the final solution is still quite stubborn, but it does actually remove. And then another little test in the background there to see what's happening and yeah so I'm, I'm happy with my solution now and I'll uh, set the camera up and we'll do some time lapse of uh, the cleaning so yeah here we go okay so after I've done my tests I always like to start on an area that's uh, got a lot of white pigment in um, white's one of the strongest pigments, it's usually um, like a lead a lead pigment or a titanium or a zinc, um, just depending on what pigments the artist has used. But um, I always test my, my solution on there when I'm doing test windows, but when I start cleaning I always try to go for an area that's got a strong pigment, just in case there's anything slightly wrong with my mixture or anything that I need to adjust. But in this instance you can see that it's fine, so I'm just kind of overlaying areas now to let my solution soften that varnish and then I'll go back to the original area and clean and then go back and keep working my way over that section. I've had a lot of comments about the swabs that I use. So this is a, an old paintbrush stick that I've had for many years. Um, and I hand roll each swab onto there. I don't use the custom, the uh, commercial swabs that you can buy. Uh, but yeah, this time, this, this way I can get a swab the size that I want, and then I can um, just roll it and throw the cotton away and keep going. It um, saves a lot of a lot of waste. But um, if that stick goes missing, I am not happy. Um, it takes me a while to find it sometimes. But yeah, so that's a custom stick with a swab on that I build each time. So here you can see me on time lapse here, just cleaning that whole shoulder, uh, keep moving the solvent around to soften areas and then working over the top, checking my swab all the time to make sure that it's just a varnish that's removing um, and yeah, making making good progress. So this was probably, I don't know, 40 minutes work maybe or something, um, but yeah, speed it up quite a bit, but yeah, it's making good progress. Here's me making a, a, a quick swab there, ready to go. And then I'm going to start working on cleaning this hand area. Um, just tackle that one section. It's probably a slightly different mixture, maybe a little bit weaker. But um, yeah, here's me having to have a look at that hand area. softening that varnish working over the whole hand keep checking the swab to make sure that nothing is coming off that shouldn't be see that it's consistent with the color that comes off from the white uh, pigment areas and that way it gives me confidence that I'm just removing the varnish and nothing else I'm just going to put this white card on, in the frame just so you can see how yellow this is because sometimes the camera kind of lightens things up so it's no auto balance correct now that is closer to actually how yellow this portrait is so I want to leave this in 
while I start the next cleaning process. It might look a bit weird, but at least you'll be able to see just how yellow that it is. Because when I move that, the camera auto corrects and it just goes back to this, which is like it's done half its job for me. So I'm just going to put that back in, let it do its thing. There we go. <clears throat> that is closer to how discolored this portrait is. Okay, right. Really excited to see the blue come through on this bow. Um, I wondered what kind of colour it would be. You know, with the varnish, and it looks very green. It's a really a turquoisey kind of colour, but that blue coming through is so vibrant. And then, especially when it contrasts against the dress, and um, yeah, it's just a really nice moment to see that colour come through. I made good progress on the rest of this dress here in this section and here's the pocket watch so I'm just really carefully trying to um, remove that varnish, checking my swab, make sure it's just the, the varnish that's coming off. And here's me again just having a look at that, uh, her left hand now. Um, the varnish was quite thick on there so I was just uh, working on the top section of the hand and then down each of the fingers, um, just removing the varnish. But um, I'm so confident with that solution now, no paints lifted throughout the whole process. So I can really just get working on there, soften the varnish and remove it from any crevices or any bits of texture that's in the paint. working on this fur trim of whatever she sat on, whether it's a gown or a cloak, and then on the red areas. The reds can be a really kind of soft pigment, so I'm always just aware that I'm very careful on those sections and just removing the varnish and checking the swab. So it's lost some of its golden hues, the red, but that's just the varnish coming off because you know how thick it is on the white. And then this paler red coming through is more of the original intended colors. Some beautiful sections coming through here on the hands with the veins coming through the knuckles and this ring is lovely and this fur here is so rich the color some brush strokes in here that i'm just trying to get out if you can see it's some real nice little areas of fur that are coming through started on this part of the dress too so i've got some really nice tones coming through there it is quite stubborn in places down here at the bottom but it is removing um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's lovely. This watch chain here with the pocket watch. So I'm just going to try and see if I can see what time it is there. And then this lace on her hand. And I think this is like some kind of, I don't know, again, it might be something like this watch chain or some kind of jewellery or something. But I think that is the colour it is intended. It doesn't seem to be coming off, but I'll have a closer look. But yeah, it's coming on. So yeah, keep going and see what else we can reveal. So yeah, you can still see the damage in there, but the colours that are coming through that dress is so bright um, and the flesh tones are just lovely. Um, I'm going to work on this, her right arm now and start taking that varnish off. And then I'll probably come back and look at that background area in the top left hand corner and then look at the drapes on the right hand side. But yeah, the colours are coming through lovely now. I've got a real good idea and understanding of the varnish. Yeah, she's looking good. Right, I've just spent a couple of hours cleaning the portrait now and you can see the difference that's coming through on the dress and everything. And it's at this point where I almost don't want to finish it because I'm just enjoying it so much. I'm enjoying seeing all the colours come through. The way he's painted this dress, it's just so rich and so deep, the colours. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that sometimes I could quite happily just keep cleaning this painting forever. It just keeps revealing itself and just showing so many nice aspects that. Um, yeah, it's just a real honour to work on a painting like this, so, okay.
have a bit of a break now, I think. Maybe a cup of tea. Cup of tea time. Okay. So I'm, I'm constantly checking when I'm cleaning. So I'm checking that the, the, the swab colour is consistent across all areas that I'm that I'm removing the varnish from. So over the white areas, the, the, the varnish you can see is coming off like a browny yellow colour. And then when I'm cleaning the pigment, like say on that piece of jewellery that's already browny yellow, I just check that that colour is still consistent. And then I know that I'm only removing varnish and dirt and grime. I'm not removing any pigments. So I'm always cross-referencing that when I'm actually working on different areas of the painting. Okay, so you can see now that I've cleaned large sections of this arm. These brush strokes are so quick. This, this painting must have been done at speed at parts. They're just a, a dab here and a dash here. You can see the ground coming through here a little bit. Then on this, this I presume it's silk or lace or some kind of maybe taffeta or something that's transparent. You can see the flesh tones coming through there, which is just lovely. And then this piece of jewellery I'm kind of obsessed with. I kind of think this must exist somewhere. It must be a real piece of jewellery. Um, maybe it's passed down or sold or but the way he's just captured these little highlights in there uh, just makes it look so lush um, yeah brilliant so yeah all this section is clean now um, I'm going to just pull out I've got a few more little bits in this bottom corner to do and then we'll be working our way up to the head and uh, the face okay cool I spent a couple of hours there cleaning, cleaning away, uh, removing the varnish, and she's looking much brighter, as I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with how she's coming. Let's uh, see if we can have a look at what we've got here. Oh, so this is from earlier, where I had just done the shoulder. You can see the difference between the yellowed varnish and the areas that I've cleaned. Um, and then here is when I've done the majority of the record, of the uh, cleaning now. You can just see how much brighter it is and those colours coming through. Still have to do a neck and a head and that bonnet. But yeah, the, the this difference is staggering. It really is. And that just looks fantastic. When I get the varnish on this, when it's uh, complete, it's just going to sing. It really is. Um, yeah, still much to do, but looking really good. Right, as you can see, the lights kind of go in today. Um, just drop in a little bit now so and we're going to stop and uh, carry on tomorrow when the uh, we've got some better light so yeah hope you've enjoyed seeing her come back to life um, i'm really pleased with how she's looking now and uh, yeah can't wait to uh, carry on doing some more work on her so yeah see you soon guys i'm gonna go home okay cheers thank you wow just clean this section here and the colors coming through are fantastic a little bit more of the background to do and then we'll have a look at the face